sorry, Mom and Dad. But I'm not sorry! Every year, my friends look forward to Justin's birthday party because it gets bigger and better. Just wait, babe. It's going to be a crazy night. I know, I can't wait. Everyone grab your stuff and let's get on the bus. Get on the bus. After you. Always. I'm always here for fun with. Oh my goodness, I love it. I look forward to any party with Whitney and Justin every year, but especially Justin's birthday party because this is why he married Whitney. She can turn it up. She is decades younger, decades sexier, and she's not afraid to show it. Let's go! Every year after we have Fun going up the canyon on the party bus. We land at my friend Catherine's house in Deer Valley where we always get the VIP treatment. No rules were broken, I promise. 25 <laughs> shots for 25. The wild roses. Woo! The fact that my stepson see me hustling, take a shot from the cage, and they see me let loose, I think that it creates this role model for them. We have to take this shot and then we're going out to the hot tub. Because they see me working hard and playing hard and they can do the same. All these to light. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Where's the plates go? Okay. Whitney heard that it's a 1990s hip hop party and she got super excited to show us her choreographed routine from middle school. Whitney needs a lot of attention, negative or positive, but like, stop twerking. Get off the floor. What's going on? Oh, 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 whoa, that was crazy. Hold on, hold on. Rewind! Is it really a question, who's a better dancer between me and Jen? I am, obviously. Whitney, I've got that brown girl rhythm. You don't. Blue ribbon! Oh! We won that <laughs> My goal is to create a billion dollar company. I don't see why I can't. Um, I just want to make sure that we don't 
overlook our kids and, you know, us as a family unit. I do not want to lose our dynamic in our relationship. I need it to still feel like it was before I started doing all this. Like sex, babe. I need it as much as you do. Yeah. That's been the hardest part about being busy and owning my own business is my sex life is changing. Like I was your freaking goddess. <laughs> and I don't feel like I am anymore. We used to have sex like almost every single day. And now we're like pushing two to three times a week. Can't believe I'm admitting that. That's really bad. That's bad for us. I genuinely would give anything right now to wake up for you grabbing my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So um, I think sometimes when you get so busy that you completely check out, but I understand it. I mean, it's hard. It's not as sexy and fun and flirty. It's like a chore. And I hate it. I don't want to have robotic sex. What the hell is robotic sex? Robotic sex is like... <gasps> are you... Are you... <sighs> Come on! Come on! <sighs> when before it was like... Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. I call Lisa. I should have called her at the airport. Like, where are you? But hi, you've reached Lisa Barlow. Leave your name, number, and a detailed message, and I'll get back to you. Getting close. Ah, Lisa's calling. Lisa is absolutely trying to make a statement. It's rude. It's and it's selfish. Like, of course, Lisa is just gonna make this one about herself. Is that your impersonation of Lisa? Yeah, I can't even do it because I can't look like I'm taking a shit and being sexy at the same time. We're both doing Burberry trenches today. Yes. Oh, it's, we're feeling the vibes. We're feeling the vibes. It's because we're cousins. I know. That's it's why. in our blood. Well, you had told me you're like, Shadrach is my grandpa too. I know. <laughs> Which, like, because who has that name? Is there more of a Mormon name than Shadrach no. Roundy? No. It's so good. I feel like I'm related to everyone in Utah. I know. Exactly. <laughs> That's what happens when you're Mormon pioneers. So it's actually really funny because I met Angie through Lisa Barlow at a mixer. And Angie came up to me and said, I had heard that you're related to Shadrach Roundy, who is an OG in the Mormon community. He was a bodyguard to Joseph Smith and Brigham Young, the founding prophets of the church. And she said, you're not gonna believe this, but he is my great, great, great grandpa too. It doesn't matter where I go, I'm related to everyone. We all came from Mormon pioneers. They settled Utah. So in a sense, we're all related. So it's really important when you're from Utah to do your genealogy to make sure you're not dating your second cousin. Have you ever been hypnotized? Yeah, like in a like carnival-like thing. Yeah, okay. Well, it's really just a state of relaxation. The idea is that this warm light is coming in through the top of your head Wiggle your neck a little bit. So now you're sitting and you're nice and relaxed. And I'd like for you to stretch your hands out, straight out like so. Just watch the flames. All right, so now I've placed two little ping pong balls in each hand. Feel how light and airy and beautiful these ping pong balls are. And then I take those balls away from your hands and I put in two baseballs. And you can feel that weight and the heaviness. Just let those balls be. I love balls. Ha, 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 ha.